I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Tom. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I want my audience to know we're talking about a really important subject. It's, you know, from lifestyle to liver cancer. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to stop in at the KYBS studios here on the Valder BB Show, guys. Thank you, Valder. Thank you, Valder, if, for having us. We're going to start with the with Doctor, and if I can call you Dr. G, you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to start with Dr. G. Dr. G, would you set the medical platform so my, my audience can have an understanding, and then we'll go to Tom. Sure. Uh, thanks, Valder. So uh, my name, as you said, G or Gassan Abwalfa from Sloan Catering here in New York. And uh, if anything, uh, liver cancer uh, is important to recognize. This is a cancer that starts in the liver itself, not a cancer that starts in any other organ that goes to the liver. And uh, it's it's a important uh, uh, disease by itself that unfortunately is on the rise and uh, that is caused by different things that can occur. That's, that's a pretty good explanation of it for my audience. Tom, how do you segue into this conversation? What can you enlighten us on? Well, fortunately, Valder, for the fourth year in a row, we are collaborating with Bayer on the Are You at Risk campaign, because given the nature of liver cancer and, quite frankly, the fact that it is symptom-free in many cases for years, Early detection is really critical to maximizing your treatment options. So the Are You At Risk campaign is intended to bring to people's attention the critical risk factors and to make sure if any of those risk factors are present in their lives or if there is a family history that they consult with their physician immediately and get whatever appropriate screening or treatment is necessary. October is Liver Cancer Month, and the American Liver Foundation wants us to know this information. Dr. G, who's most affected by uh, a liver cancer, and what are some of the symptoms that the doctor can identify for us? Valder, uh, the question is about wh who is at risk, and uh, there are four main categories, including uh, patients who are infected with a virus called hepatitis B. Uh, another one is a virus called hepatitis C. Uh, patients who have a overuse of alcohol that can lead to uh, liver damage and liver cancer, and lastly patients who are uh, severely obese and uh, diabetic that can lead to fatty liver that ultimately lead to liver cancer uh, to answer your second point about uh, what doctors can do, we, of course, strongly encourage and uh, uh, strongly recommend that patients who are at risk, i.e., they had an infection of a nature of that one we spoke about, be followed very closely by their doctors because, unfortunately, when liver cancer can occur, it might happen without any specific symptoms. So uh, close follow-up with the doctors will be very critical. Are we considering that kind of like a hypertension, kind of the silent killer if you don't find it? Uh, so uh, in the early stages when it's something we can uh, even cure from, uh, by all means it's silent and that's why it's very critical to follow the doctors. But sadly, if it really is to progress and cause further damage, then symptoms will occur and obviously then uh, the choices for therapy might become uh, less and less um, uh, available or at least be limited. Thank you, Dr. Tom. Would you wrap us up with... There, there seems to be hope because if you find it, you, you get treated, there, there's a path for you. Your organization, 
what ser- what s- support do they get from your organization? Well, um, our organization, first and foremost, we have a website, liverfoundation.org, where they can learn more about the campaign, more about risk factors, more about liver cancer, but also they can learn about information regarding our helpline, where we have specialists who are there and available to talk to anyone who has any questions on this topic or any other topic relating to liver disease as well as liver health and liver wellness because the liver is a critically important organ and people need to understand all they need to be doing to make sure that they safeguard it. Gentlemen, I want to thank you, Tom Nelson and Dr. Ghassan Abu Alpha. I want to thank you from Sloan Kettering for talking about this. I've got a lot of questions on Facebook, but we're going to take this offline while you guys go on to the next radio station. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you, Valder. Thank you, Valder.